Hey, it's another Lil Wayne bite. Just a little taste of this and that. Today I'm making steak fajitas using skirt steak in my smoker. I'm making homemade corn tortillas and a lot of fresh vegetables I'm sauteing in my skillet to go on top. Really tasty dish, really simple to put together. Before we get started though, just a reminder, please subscribe to my channel. You'll get more recipes, craft ideas, restaurant reviews, even travel tips, all in the same spot. Just click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you always know when new videos are coming out. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is marinate my skirt steak as well as make my dough for my tortillas. So right here is my skirt steak here. And what I have is my homemade seasoning mix. And I'll put the recipe down in the information section below. But I'm gonna take about a tablespoon worth of this seasoning mix. Paprika, brown sugar, a little salt and pepper. You know, liberally put it on both sides of the skirt steak here. My tongs, turn it over. Ah, go. Put it on that side as well. Really cover it well. Get it all in there. It's about a tablespoon's worth in the whole thing. Now I'm gonna wrap that in plastic and just put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. There we go. While that's in the refrigerator for 30 minutes, I'm gonna make my dough for my tortillas. What I have here is one cup of corn masa, which I'm gonna put in my bowl here. To that, I'm gonna add about a half a teaspoon of my spice mix here. And then I'm gonna add three-fourths of a cup of hot water. So three-fourths of a cup of hot water goes in right there. Now what I do is, I put just a little bit more, the standard measurement would be three-fourths of a cup, but I found if I put a little bit more water in, it makes the tortillas softer and I can make them a lot thinner. So I'm gonna add two more tablespoons of water to that. And I'm simply gonna just mix that together. Too hot to handle. So once it all comes together into a nice little ball, you just roll it into a ball just like that. It's still nice and warm, which is great. And all I'm gonna do is just wrap that in plastic and let that go for 30 minutes as well. There we go. Now, while those things are sitting for 30 minutes, I'm gonna go outside and preheat my smoker. So we're out on my balcony. This is my smoker. It's an electric smoker, which I like very much because it regulates the temperature the entire time you're cooking something. So what I have inside of it, though, is a little smoke box here. And in this smoke box, I'm putting only about four ounces worth of hickory that goes inside. I'm gonna set this at 230 degrees, and by the time it's ready to go, I will have marinated my meat for 30 minutes. Okay, now it's time to make my tortillas. This is rested for a long enough time. What I will do is I'll take this dough and divide it. You can divide it into six, five or six, depending on how large you want your tortillas to be. I'm gonna be pretty decent size. I'm gonna divide this only into five pieces today. So just one, and just sort of, you don't have to be exact. Two, three, four, five. So five pieces, all about the average same size there. And what I'll use is my little tortilla press here. And I've got my little skillet already heating up. And my tortilla press, which I made in my wood shop, very fun, has some tissue and it has some plastic here. And I'll just put this here, roll a little ball, flatten it down a tiny bit, layer those back over, and then just drop the bomb on top and squeeze it one time. And what I'll normally do is open it up, pop it one more time so it's nice and flat. And there's my tortilla. And I'll take that, peel it off the plastic here, and just drop it on my little skillet. And that'll take about, about a minute on one side and then about 30 seconds to a minute on the second side. And while I'm working on that one, I'll start making another one. Put the second one there, just like that. And I'll work on a third one just before I'm ready to turn that first one. So I'm gonna flip the first one. Give that a minute. And I'll just wait for the next one to come along. How you doing? <laughs> so it doesn't take very long at all. I'm gonna work on these, I'll have all five done, and we'll move on to the next step. The skirt steak's been marinating for over 30 minutes, and my smoker's at about 200 degrees, which is close enough for what I wanna put it in the oven for. Uh, I'm gonna take it out, open it up here. Whoo, nice smoke. Bring out the rack, get in my eye. Put that right on the rack, and close it up. Now, that is gonna go for about an hour, and my skirt steak will be ready. As soon as I get the smoke out of my eye. <laughs> there we go. So I've sliced up all these vegetables because they're gonna be part of my fajitas as well. Just before the steak is ready to come out of the smoker, I'm gonna to toss these in a little bit of olive oil and butter and they'll be ready to go on top of my fajitas. I may add a little bit of avocado and maybe some sliced cherry tomatoes as well. I'm just gonna to toss my vegetables in there. I'll add a little bit of my beef spice mix as well to get a little extra flavor, but I just toss them in. 
I've got some green peppers here from my friend's farm down in central Indiana. I've also got some red peppers. I've also got some spicy peppers. And I've got some onion. Oh, those are perfect. Now I'm just going to transfer that to a bowl. And I'm ready to go. Mmm. Yum. Now here's my skirt steak right off the smoker. It looks great. Mine was in there for about an hour. Now cooking times are going to vary quite a bit based on your smoker or your grill if you're using a grill and the thickness of your skirt steak. But right now this is going to be about medium, medium rare. It's going to be perfect. I'm going to let it rest for just a few minutes and I'm going to slice it up. Now when you slice this, you want to slice it across the grain so the meat is nice and tender when you're biting into it in your fajita. Just look at that. Oh, looks so good. So tender. So tender, I might have to take a little taste of that. Mmm, so good. Now to make my fajitas. I've got my tortillas here. I'll just start off with two. Put them down here on my tray here. I'll take some of this wonderful fajita meat. It's awesome. Oh, a couple strips there. So good. So good. All right. I have a little bit of my vegetables to go along with it. Making a little mess. Get out of there. Come on. A little bit more over here. And then maybe a few... Uh, Avocado slices as well can go in there, and even some tomatoes as well. You know, little tiny grape tomatoes I've sliced in half. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to dig into that, and I'm going to do that in just a second. Hey, all the information you need is in the information section down below. My recipes for the spice mix as well as for the tortillas. Let me know what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Also, leave me your comments. I'd love to know what you think about this recipe and other recipes you'd like to see in the future. Thanks for watching once again, folks. Appreciate it. I'm going to dig into this right now. Really good. We'll see you next time. Mm. Oh my God.